good and bad. I thought um, I thought the fastball location was improved. Um, obviously, the pitch count got up there and uh, wasn't able to finish the outing uh, the way we wanted to. Um, but there was some good improvement across the board. So uh, I'll just try to take that. You mentioned the pitch count. How were they able to elevate your pitch count so much? Why was I just never got any quick outs. I just like I mean, I mean, I still lament falling behind a, a couple of those guys, especially to start the inning. But you know, sometimes we made that up, and then we just never, you know, even with pitches where we executed like two or three times in a row to start the at bat, we just never got you know the pop out or the ground out or the fly ball. It was just. It ended up going to 2-2 and then finishing with a strikeout, I felt like, or getting late into the count. And then we got the contact in the field. And it, I mean, it just it just ran it just ran the count up. Thanks, Garrett. Great. We can take the next one from Andy Martino. Hey, Garrett, on days like today where you're getting a lot of swings and misses on the fastball versus uh, the last start where you weren't as much. What's what's the difference for you? Is it location? Is it a little just extra life on the on the fastball? Or what enables you to get all those whiffs that on, on a day like today? I think it was look. I thought, I think the location was Chris for the most part. There were still some misses towards the end that were bad that we can improve on. Um, but I made a little tweak with my delivery, staying over my legs a little better, and I thought that it kind of increased uh, a little bit of the deception. Um, and it allowed me to get through the baseball at the end and, you know, really start to nail kind of the axis that uh, the spin axis that is that is my spin axis. At times, uh, it's been a little inconsistent. Um, and today it was I, we were really we were really repeating for the most part um, until a, a, a few pitches towards the end. So and that's the key to a swing and miss when you've got that repeatable. That yeah, you, I mean, well, yeah, you're, the, the more like vertical you can get it, the more carry it has through the through the through the glove as opposed to like east and east and west. I have a little bit of that action to it, um, but the more I stay over my legs, the more it frees the hand up to get through the pitch. Thank you. Take the next one from Brian Hoke. Hey Garrett, uh, to follow up on that, is today the first day you've really felt like you're in midseason form with 10 strikeouts here? Yeah, but I only went four and two thirds, so I'm not going to say midseason form. Um, but I would say that in terms of the stuff, uh, it's another step in the right direction, and hopefully we can just finish the outing next time. 